Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, Lenny, Alex, and some other kids at Hurston are putting together a talent show called Star Jam. And Rob's got a new friend, a kid on the track team named Victor. Victor used to be in a gang called the Thunderheads, but he quit because his brother got hurt in a gang battle. Plus, there's been some trouble in the neighborhood lately. Some kids have been beaten up. Now, here's some new facts from the last show. First, somebody trashed the school. Who would do this to our school? Why do this? What's the point? It is hard to understand. The team wants to find out who did it. Gotta meet in my place, right after school. I think we've got another case. So the team looks at the clues and comes up with some suspects. That's the symbol for the Thunderheads gang. Who else? Walter Haynes. Yeah. He's mad at me because I'm the director instead of him. And the Star Jam posters were ripped down. Maybe he's trying to get back at us. Then, Ghost Rider sent the team a ripped up message. What would Victor Tor write son? And when they put the message together, they come up with another suspect. Well, it says, what would the mighty Victor Torres do? Why would he do it? We don't know, Rob, but we should still put him down. So, Rob went to talk to Victor and met his brother, Quincy, who was shot by a rival gang member, and now he's in a wheelchair for life. Lots of kids think Victor trashed Hurston. How's your spray painting, Thunderhead? And Victor's got other problems. Tony, another kid on the track team, is really mad at him because Victor is the best runner on the team. And his gym bag is missing. It was you when the assembly started, now it's gone. There's trouble at Hurston School. So get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues because the Ghost Rider team's on the case. creep wrote, Hurston's for wimps. It's just like what he wrote the first time he trashed the school. Bust up Hurston, and they both have the Thunderhead symbol. It's gotta be Victor. It's in all the stuff that Ghost Rider sent us. See? Here's his name, right here. Look, I'm telling you, Victor's innocent. How do you know? Because he's my friend. That's good, Rob, but I don't think that's proof enough. He used to be in the Thunderheads. One of the reasons he quit the gang is because his brother Quincy got shot in a gang battle. Now he's in a wheelchair for life. It's terrible. It was hard enough for him to leave his gang even then. But he said he wanted something else, something better. So why would he vandalize the school? It just doesn't make sense. But what if... What if someone's setting Victor up? I mean, take another look at this note. What would the mighty Victor Torres do? It doesn't sound like Victor's talking. It sounds like someone wondering what Victor would do. Write Thunderhead stuff. And whoever wrote this also wrote the Thunderhead symbols in the school both times. Hey, Rob's got a point. And on top of that, in the assembly in the cafetorium this afternoon, someone shouted. How's your spray painting, Thunderhead? Who said that? I don't know who said it but it sure looks like someone's trying to point the finger at Victor. Who? Look at our suspects list. The Thunderheads and Walter Haynes. I don't think it's the Thunderheads anymore. Why? Well, Victor said even though they're mad at him, they won't trash the school. They trash him. Mm. That doesn't really rule them out. The Thunderheads might have trashed Hurston just for fun. What about Walter Haynes? Well, Walter's not mad at Victor. He's mad at the Star Jam Committee. 
He is mad at Victor. He had a fight with him in the school hallway the other day. Look, man, just get out of my face, man, okay? I'm not in your face. Hey, guys. Get off my clothes, man. And later, Walter said, Man, that dude's gonna be nothing but trouble at this school. That might be a reason for wanting to set Victor up. Wait a minute. Tony Boyd put his name on the list. The best runner on the track team? Why? Because he's not the best runner on the track team anymore. Victor is. But I run the anchor legs, coach. I'm the one who crosses the finish line. I can't run third. I can't end up to Victor. And Tony hates him for it. Okay, Tony Boyd. I still think we need more evidence to show that Victor's being set up. Found something today in the cafetorium. Is it evidence? I can't show it to you yet. You can't show us yet? I've got to check something out first. Rob. Come on, man. Um, just give me one day, okay? One day. Okay, one day. But don't forget, we're a team. And we're here for you if you need us. Thanks, man. Students and teachers, this is your principal, Miss Kelly. Two things. First, anyone having any information about the person or persons responsible for the latest vandalism should please contact me as soon as possible. Remember, this school belongs to every single one of us. And second, the community jam against violence will go forward as scheduled. We will not be moved. Yo, Victor. Rob, what's up, man? Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, sure. Let's go in here. I heard someone messed up the school again. Spray painted another Thunderhead symbol. Man, this kid's are starting to get on my case now. He's looking at me all funny and stuff. Why? Because somebody's been spreading the word that I used to hang with the Thunderheads that I still hang with them. Man, they better chill. This is yours, I think. Hey, yeah. I thought somebody had swiped it. I found it in the cafetorium, right near where they trashed the community jam stuff. And so what? Oh, that makes me guilty? No, I'm not saying that. Man, right now, the only thing I'm guilty of is coming to the school. Oh, come on, Victor. A school where nobody trusts me, where all they do is steal my stuff, my gold chain, my notebook. When? When did they steal that? At that assembly about the Star Jam yesterday. First, I couldn't find my bag. Then you found it for me. Then the next thing I know... Did you just happen to find my notebook too, man? No, you don't understand. Did you swipe the rap I wrote for my brother? No, I'm your friend, Victor. Your friend. My friend? I used to have a friend. Miguel Ramos, main player of Thunderhead. We were really tight, man. What am I doing in this school, man? I'm a thunderhead. That's why I belong. That's what everybody's saying anyway. Everybody's not saying that. I think you were set up for just listening to me for a couple of minutes. You might get Look, right now, it doesn't matter to me what you or anybody else at the school thinks, okay? Later for you. Later for this whole school. Victor, where you going? Did you uh, deal with what you had to deal with yet? Because listen, we've got to move fast. Um, I'll catch you later. Hey, Jasmine. Jasmine, listen, can I talk to you? No. Checking out what our new poster says, Walter. Hoping it says, Star Jam Gone Forever. Bugging, man. Or maybe you're looking for Victor. Looking to pick another fight? <laughs> Why don't you just get out of my face, all right? What you got against him anyway? 
But you haven't heard? He's a thunderhead. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. Well, let me tell you something, right? No, no, let me tell you something. The Thunderheads ripped me off last year, all right? All they are is a bunch of rip-off artists, including your man, Victor. isn't working. Why not? Everything about our routine is the same as it was before. But the Star Dance theme isn't, we're alive with towns anymore, it's a community jam, jam against violence. violence. I know, and so we're jamming. But it's not right. Well, I don't know what to do. First, we work hard on this routine. Then, we can't do it at the Star Jam because we don't go to Hurston. Then we can do it because the Star Jam's suddenly open to everyone. Then, we can't do it because the stupid theme has changed. It's not a stupid theme. All this violence and stuff is serious. Kids have a right to feel safe. All this beating people up, tearing up their stuff, smashing lockers, spray painting terrible things. How would they feel if somebody tore up their stuff, hurt them? Yeah, we ought to tell them. We should tell them. Instead of changing our dance, let's add words to it. Words that say what we feel about what's been going on. Okay, what do we want to say? Well, all this stuff is really scary. It makes me mad, too. We should find a way to stop the violence. feel safe on our own streets. What else do we want to say? What we can do about it. People can get together, talk. Yeah, talk about respecting each other. It's more like a rap. Fit them to our music. Okay, how do we start? Mm, how about... We're Tina and Gabby, and we just want to say... That's great, but the words should rhyme with something. How about switching it around? We're just two girls from around the way. Gabby and Tina have something to say. I like it. But... part about respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. I know how to spell it. No, spell it out in the song. If you want, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Gotta give it to get it, everybody. All right. So fun. <laughs> yeah, but is it good enough for the community jam against violence? I'll put you guys right after David Ramirez as a song. All right! But I want you to wear this bandage. I want you to keep it on all week. Mr. Ward, have you seen Victor? No. And I don't understand it. He was in school earlier. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Just a minute. All right, guys. Warm up laps. Let's go. Let's hit it. He's such a drill, sir. I heard that, Tony. I guess you want to run an extra lap. Oh, come on, let's go, come on, let's move! So, what's up? Victor and I had a fight this morning, 
And I think he might have left school, maybe for good. For good? Oh, I don't know about that. He seems so paranoid sometimes, thinks everyone's against him. Well, those Thunderhead symbols spray painted in school sure don't help. Do you think the Thunderheads are responsible? I don't know. The police are still checking into it. But I still don't understand why Victor has to be so angry so much of the time. He's got a lot to deal with, Rob. His dad hasn't been around for a long time. He's had a lot of pressure from the streets. His brother was shot. Yeah, I know. I met his brother. And Victor's been out of school. Now he's a year behind, and he has to start at a new school. Now, that last one's something you know about. Yeah. Well, I'd say that's quite a lot for a young man to have to deal with, no matter how tough he pretends to be. Yeah, he told me how you said he should try to write things down in a notebook to help him get his anger out. He even read me something he wrote about his brother. Now, if he had the courage to do that, you must be someone he really wants to be friends with. Thanks, Mr. Ward. Sure. I'm lame, jive, cowardly, and frustrated. I said some stupid things. trying to apologize to her, I step all over my face and my tongue freezes up inside my mouth and... I want to apologize. in there somewhere. How about starting with I? Jasmine, I'm sorry for the way I talked about you at school. I didn't mean what I said. I really do like you. I've just been scared to talk to you. That's the plain, honest truth. <sighs> there, I did it. Now all I need is enough courage to give it to her. Victor's not home. Oh, hey, Quince. Do you know where he might be? Somewhere on the streets, man. I don't know. I can't keep up with him anymore, if you know what I mean. Yeah, um, thanks anyway. Yo! Are you really Victor's running buddy? Running buddy? You know, his partner, his friend. Did he say that to you? 
Yeah, a couple of days ago. Yeah, yeah, I guess I am. Jasmine, it's Jamal Jenkins. Well, uh, Jasmine, have you uh, got a minute? <laughs> you can't come in, my parents aren't home. Oh, oh, no, 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 that's all right, that's all right. Um, I, here, this is for you. Jamal Jenkins, if you really liked me, you wouldn't have talked about me melting at your hot little feet. I know, Jasmine. I was just, just fooling around, you know, trying to be cool. Oh, so now you're cool all of a sudden. Not hot? What more can I say? Nothing. It says it. I like you, too. Really? I mean, uh, really? Yeah, sorta. Well, uh, do you like me enough to want to go out with me? Like to the Star Jam next week? Sure. Look, I've got to go. I still have homework to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me too. Homework. Got to go, you know. Yeah. So I'll see you in school. OK, bye. Bye. Yes! Man, Victor, where are you? Maybe, maybe he's at their hangout. But where's that? It's probably a place where there are lots of those symbols and lots of other Thunderhead stuff. And if that's the case, Please find a place where there are lots of thunderhead symbols and lots of thunder. Got it, Ghost Rider. Is there something else? Victor's signature. It's on his gold chain. He could be there right now. Huntley Street? This is it.
That's where Ghost Rider was reading Victor's signature. Doesn't mean he's here now. Take out that loop now before you lose. Yo, what you doing here, man? <laughs> 